Okay, so let's see the synthetic division idea really in practice and see how you do it. Not hard to do once you remember the method. So let's consider the following. x to the fifth minus 61 x cubed plus 5x minus 1. And I want us to divide that by x minus 4. Since I'm dividing only by something of the form x plus a number or x minus a number, I can use synthetic division. Otherwise, no synthetic division. Don't make a really good mistake about just taking a really complicated polynomial like x cubed minus 2x if that were down here and try somehow some synthetic division. Won't work. Only in this special case. Step one, you write down this number but flip the sign. So instead of a minus 4, I'm going to write a plus 4. Then you draw this cute little box. Well, half a box. You can draw the whole box if you want. You can make it really fancy. You can make a little house on it, make like a roof and a little chimney and family. But let's just keep this part of the thing here. That's all I care about. Now what I'm going to do is run through and just report the coefficients. That's all that matters, the coefficients of these people, remembering that if someone's not represented, we have to put in as their vote a 0. So I see 1x to the fifth, so I put a 1 here. I see no x to the fourth, so I put a 0. I see no uh, x, oh no, I see some x to the cubes right there, so I put in a minus 61. I see no uh, x squared, so I put a 0 there. And then I see uh, 5, and then I see a minus 1. So that's what I write. Now, let's see what happens. So the step, first step is to bring that 1 straight down. Then I take one time, 4 times 1 and write that answer here. And then I add these numbers. If I add these up, I get 4. If I multiply these, I get 16. And then I add here. So if I add minus 61 and 16, I get minus 45. And then what do I do? Well, then I take minus 45 and multiply it by 4. And I get minus 180. And then I add. So I have minus 180. And I multiply that by the 4 again. And I get minus 720. And then I add these things up. And I get minus 715. Then I multiply that by 4, then I get minus 2,860, and then I, add, then I add the minus 1, so I get minus 2,861. Okay, well now I'm done, I just have to know how to read this off. When I take this polynomial, which has x to the fifth as the highest thing, and I divide it by something with an x, I'm going to start with an x to the fourth as the quotient. So these are the coefficients starting with x to the fourth. So in fact, it's 1 times x to the fourth plus 4 times x cubed minus 45 times x squared and so on. So the answer would be x to the fourth plus 4x minus uh, x cubed minus 45x squared minus 180x minus 715. Uh, and this number here, Minus 2,861, that number is the remainder. So the remainder is that number there. And that's the quotient, and that's the remainder. And I just used the, the synthetic division method. OK, let's try another one. How about if I take 6x cubed plus 10x squared my, plus 17, and I divide that by x plus 3. I see the bottom is x plus a number or x minus a number, so I'm OK to use synthetic division. What do I do? I switch the sign here, so write minus 3, draw my little box, and then I just copy the coefficients. So I see a 6, I see a 10. Notice I see no x term, so I put a placeholder of 0, and then I see a 17. That's all. Copy the first 6 down. Take 6 times minus 3 and get minus 18. And then I add and see minus 8. Then I see minus 3 times uh, a minus 8, and I see a plus 24. And I add here, and I get 24. 
and then I take 24 and multiply it by minus 3, and I get minus 72. And then I add here, and what do you get? Well, you just have minus 72 plus 17. So you get minus 55. Okay, so that's your answer. Now, how do you decode it? Well, the way you decode it is, this is going to be an x squared term. Since I'm taking an x cubed, dividing it by an x, I'm going to have an x squared. So I'm going to have a 6x squared minus 8x plus 24. And the remainder is minus 55. The remainder is minus 55. So there's a neat way of doing all that complicated long division just by using the synthetic division technique. One last thing to consider. How about this one? So I have 2x to the fifth minus 3x squared plus 7, all divided by x squared minus 3. So again, I use the synthetic division method. I switch this thing. That becomes a 3. I go down here. I make my 2. I see a 0 for the x to the fourth. I see a 0 for x cubed. I see a minus 3 for x squared. I see a 0 for x. And I see a 7. And so I start working. Bring down the 2, 6, add 6, 18, so forth. So on, so on, so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. So Is this right? The answer is absolutely not. Because notice that this bottom is not of the form x plus a number or x minus a number. This is x squared minus 3. Synthetic division is not going to work there. So in fact, even though you may think, oh, synthetic division, no. The only way to do this problem, the only way to do this long division, in fact, is to actually do the long division. And to take the x squared minus 3 and long divide it by 2x to the fifth plus 0x to the fourth plus 0x cubed minus 3x squared my, uh, plus 0x plus 7 and then start long dividing it all out. That's the only way to do this. Synthetic division only works for x plus a number, x minus a number. All right, be careful of that. Enjoy these synthetic division problems. Once you start getting into them, not that bad. And you'll see that, in fact, when we have an x minus 3 and we want to long divide, sometimes just finding the remainder will be a really, really important thing. So synthetic division is actually going to be useful to us, believe it or not. So practice these things. Make sure you get it down, and good luck.